Hello everyone. Just want to go over the parabolic SAR, which is something I use quite often. And it's a tool that may help you as well. Now I am no way, shape, or form a financial advisor. I am not giving you financial advice. I am just telling you and showing you what works for me in my situation. So here we are on a TOS Thinkorswim platform. And uh, if you go up here into your studies, click on, we'll go into a parabolic, you'll see it. Click on parabolic SAR, and then you will add to select it, which is what I already did. Now what I do is, I go and change my color. I go in here into the settings inside the parabolic SAR window. And I change the color to black because black shows better for me at least on my screen. Then I push OK. Then I push apply. Then I push OK again. And you see this little black line here going up and down is my parabolic star. So right now I have typed in the Apple uh, icon ticker. Then I went into my uh, my style and then I went to my settings and I looked at it make sure everything is okay which it was then I went back into my studies again sorry making a mistake make sure it's all correct then I changed my my interval click on the the clock looking thing right there and I put into my my one year one day in this case, this is the 360 day, 12 hour, and I look at the stock tickers as such. So, the black dots is my parabolic star. And what the parabolic star is, it shows bullish and bearish signals. So, when the parabolic star dots are below the candlesticks, that's showing bullish. But when the parabolic star dots are above the candlesticks, like it is right here, that's showing bearish, meaning, of course, bullish is going up, bearish is going down. So when you're bullish, you're going long or you're day trading, hoping for a profit on the way up. So when you're bearish, you're going short, hoping that the stock drops from where the previous price was. As you can see here, this last red candle right here was at 203.83, and then the next dot was a overturn going short. And the stock immediately drops in this red candle right here, the first red candle. So that's how parabolic star uh, help when you're going long. So as a day trader like I am, majority of the time, I'm going short. So, I'm sorry, not short. I'm going for the day daily or intraday sometimes. So I would go into the 15-minute chart and calculate what has actually been going on over the course of a day or even the course of, a, of five days. I can see back a couple of days and see how the trends was going on a parabolic SAR. So uh, it shows movements and trends with the parabolic par, sorry, parabolic SAR, S-A-R, really does. It shows movements and trends. So if you see a stock is trending, it'll be immediately on the upward swing. Now we all know uh, Apple is one of those power stocks and quite often, it's on the upward trend, all the way straight up to the top. So this is what shows daily what I care about. So if we look at here on 8 one the date's right there. You'll see it open. The grading areas is, this is after hours. This is pre-market, PM. So you'll see right before the stock opened in the day on 8 one, it was trending in a down trend. So you see here, here is where your, uh, Candlesticks are on a downtrend, but this arrow here indicates the first, like I trade, the first green arrow candlestick above the lowest candlestick. And you see here, you could have bought in right there, and then you could have rolled the wave up until your peak, or you thought it's the peak, was 218.11. Now, no one knows the peak. I can't, I can't tell anyone that can tell me they know the peak. However, Stock trading is not the game of winning if you know what's going on because we all don't know what's going on. We just try to read and indicate and, and go what we think is appropriate 
in order to trade the stock. Now, if you notice here, the peak of this Apple stock on 8.1 was actually 217.95, top of that candlestick. And then it dropped a little bit and it consolidated. And then all of a sudden, immediately, that black dot, which indicates the turnover or the short situation. And that first red candle, these are the 15 minute candle, just drop. Second red candle dropped even more. So this stock dropped a combined of from 217, we're say, down to 206.69. And one, two, three, four, five, six red candles in the row. Now remember, they're all 15 minute candles. So we're technically at 15, 30, 45, 60, uh, 75, 90, hour and a half. So an hour and a half, we go from the high of the day to the low of the day, just a matter of uh, six 15-minute candlesticks. Now, if you're looking at it from the the day part of it, sorry, the five-day, I look at the 15-minute first to see what's going on, then I go into the five-minute. Now, the five-minute is showing a little different. The five-minute is showing right before the market opens on 8-1, sorry, 7-30, let me go back to 8-1. careful that sometimes it'll change date on you so the five minute is showing when it got here right before the market opens on 8-1 it was trending up see these parabolic are below the candlesticks it was showing trending up and this thing pretty much just rolled up the first candle so if you got in here in the first candle the first five minute candle you could technically get in at 213.82 if you recall around on the same spot and the candlestick wick stopped at 215.88. Pretty nice gain you could have made there. Often, as sellers, we get scared and uh, we have sell immediately hoping that it don't, we don't lose our gains. You see here, it retraced back about 50% down here to 214.15. Well, a little more than 50%, actually. And then it took off on the, the rise up. And you see this parabolic SAR kept going below the candlesticks. If you go here to the right a little bit, you'll see two little dots of the reverse, which means it's going down. But you see here, it's only uh, one, two candlesticks, five minute candlesticks showing it's down. Then it was back up again, see the dots here, and it dropped down again, I think the rest of the day. No, it dropped down again right here as it consolidated. If you look here, it's only technically like a 70 cent gap as consolidating. Then it just went, then it reversed. When downtrend is dropped off the off the cliff right here, boom. Well, same thing shows on the 15 minute chart, but it's not as in detail. And if you go here to the one minute chart, which I look at entry points for, I rarely trade a one minute chart. I just I just mainly look at entry put entry ports. Sorry, entry points. Now again, this is my way of trading. I'm not telling anyone what to do. This is how I do things that works for me. So we're gonna go back to eight one. No, we're not. We're going to look at 8.2. Look at 8.2. Uh, coming into the day, pre-market, it was on a downswing. And as market opens, the parabolic star is still above the candlesticks on the downswing. And then right here, the first green candle, which is indicated right here, the turnover, it raises. And then from that point, it pretty much uh, took gains about a dollar back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then eventually it got up here to 206.46. And then that was the high at, at, at that point of the day. Now, immediately it reversed. Now, it don't always do a huge drop. In this case, it did the same drop it did here and it broke support. Which you see, support is right here. That is uh, 204.77. And then it just dropped on support and went all the way down and pretty much didn't recover the rest of the day. Now, I am not in no way at all telling you to trade parabolic star. It is not a hundred percent at all. You just gotta know how to read candlesticks and when to when to find your entry points and exit points. Now this is a good uh, indicator by far. However, it's not hundred percent accurate. Now you can go on stocks like uh, Trading View and do the same situation, but uh, I normally don't do that. Now. Uh, the parabolic star works best when you have high price action. When you have high price action, the stock normally moves on the up. You know, when it goes.
goes up, you, that's your points to get in, get out. Never be greedy. Remember, stocks move in waves and always follow your mind. Don't follow your heart. With that being said, uh, nice talking to you guys. Uh, stay green and uh, think positive.